It was an opportunity to take a bow in front of a virtual audience. When they announced that it was actually going to be come a show and they were going to do a streaming concert, a benefit concert, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to be a part of this. Broadway professionals and TikTok creators partnered to bring Ratatouille, the TikTok musical, to life after seeing its potential success on social media. The virtual show casted big Broadway names and brought in over $2 million for the Actors Fund, a charity that helps those in the performing arts. Each member of the ensemble has Broadway credits of their own, including Elon alum J.J. Neiman. Neiman returned to his childhood home in March and now pursues TikTok as a way to make money and stay in tune with his craft. It's not like crazy money yet it, it depends but like if I have a video that does really well and gets a couple million views which happens pretty frequently like I can make 150 bucks in a day from that which is wild. Elon alum Drew Reddington is still auditioning for projects while he navigates life without live theater. Before the pandemic he was in the ensemble of the Mean Girls musical a show that gave its last performance at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I, this is now my third Broadway show that I've closed, and it is it is a part of the business. It is a part of um, our fairy tale of living in New York. It's something that we don't ever really think about, but it, it is very common. Neither alum have a definite answer as to when they think the curtains will rise, but both agree there are silver linings to be found, even with the uncertainty of unemployment. And I hope a big takeaway from this time will be that, like, art can come from anywhere. I think people will trust and trust new things that come about, um, maybe put themselves out there a little more, and, and maybe it can make theater feel more accessible for people.